Hi everyone, my name is Dean. Welcome to Books and Quirks. Today I wanted to do a book review on The Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. I absolutely love this book and I will keep this review spoiler free. But I just wanted to give you a brief synopsis and my thoughts on the book um, as I really did enjoy it. So, this Savage Song follows um, two main characters. Kate Harker and August Flynn um, and it takes place in this metropolis city this town called Verity and Verity is split up into two different sections one section is led by Callum Harker who is Kate's father and he's sort of um, tyrannical in a way but he Basically, um, anybody that wants to live in his area has to pay him for protection against the monsters that exist. And the other um, half of the city, the, the area, this town called Verity, is headed by August's father. Um, and they work hand in hand with one of the monster species called Sunai. So there are three types of monsters, Malkai, Corsai, and Sunai. And the best way I can describe them is Malkai are sort of like these vampirish type creatures that will, you know, suck out all your blood. Corsi are these, you know, basically creatures that all are all mouth and claws and they'll eat you up. And Sunai feed off of the souls of others. So August Flynn, um who lives on one side of Verity is is a Sunai. He is a monster, but he wants to retain his humanity. He wants nothing more than to just be a human. Um, and on the other side, that is headed by Kate's father, Callum Harker, um, he keeps the other two monsters that live on his side, Malachi and Corsi, in line, sort of. Um, he he basically um, keeps them in line so that they don't attack the people and the people pay him for this protection. I don't really know how else to describe it. I, I really love this book. It is full of action. Victoria Schwab's writing is so easy. It flows so well and I just am able to get through her books so quickly. Um, but just out of pure enjoyment, just because I love the, you know, the the fact that her writing is so lyrical and I love that it's just, you know, beautiful. And this Savage Song, obviously from the title, you know that music has something to do with um, the book as well. And it does. I won't go into how that, um, how it plays a part, but, um, but it does play a big part in this, in this story as well. And basically, you know, the book in this book, a war is brewing between the two slot sides. Um, Malkai and Corsai monsters are sort of fed up with being, um, with not ruling the area, with not being able to attack the humans as they want to. And Sunai, on the other side, are trying to keep the monsters out and they can basically, they're the most powerful of all the monsters, Sunai. They can wipe out an entire city or an entire town um, if they really give in to the monster part of themselves. Um, so August, in the, in the first chapter, has this job of sort of infiltrating the human community. He goes over toward to um, the Harker side of Verity and enters into the school there and he passes for human and his job is to basically just go to school um, and find a way to get close to Kate since she's the daughter of the ruler um, they figure that you know she might no information um, being so close to her father, or she might even be very much like her father. Her father is um, a human, but a monster in and of himself. So Kate Harker um, is fully human. She's the daughter of Callum Harker, but she wants to 
wants nothing more than to be just like her father. She wants to sort of, you know, prove to him that she can be just as ruthless and just as um, cold as her father. And, um, and she knows there's something different about August, but she can't, she can't pinpoint what it is. So that's where the story starts off in the first, um, in the very beginning of the book. And then it goes from there. Um, so I really did like this book. I gave it five out of five stars. I love Victoria Schwab so much. I look forward to her books whenever she has a new one coming out. I think this is going to be part of a series. I'm not sure if it's going to be a duology or a trilogy. Um, on Goodreads it says it's book one of the Songs of Verity um, series. But... I don't know um, when the when the second book is going to come out because it did leave, you know, the story did not wrap up cleanly. I'm not going to say it was a big cliffhanger, but it was. But there's a lot of unanswered questions that can be explored in the second and third book, which I'm really looking forward to. So this has a lot of important themes, I think. You know, what exactly does it mean to be a monster? Does violence breed more violence? Um, like, who is the real monster? Because a lot of times in this, in this book, you know, you're, you're able to see that it's not just the quote unquote monsters that are monsterish, <laughs> that are evil, that are cold, that are, that are, um, just, just evil. Um, but, you know, we all have that, that, um, within us, I guess, you know, we can, humans can also be very cold at times and very harsh and I'm not, not necessarily evil, but, you know, sometimes even humans can be monsterish. And I think it also explores in that same vein, you know, prejudice, you know, they're very prejudiced against one another without even trying to understand the other. Um, I really loved August. You know, I liked Kate as well, Kate Harker, but I think August, I mean, August just pulled at my heartstrings, and I loved him. I I loved how, you know, he, he didn't want to give in to the monster side of himself. I love how he just, all he wanted was to be human and, um, and to live kind of a normal life, and it's just, it was just, I loved him so much. So that's basically it. You know, if you've read other Victoria Schwab books, I think you would really enjoy this if you enjoyed others. But even if you haven't, I think this book might be a good place to start. Because as with um, a lot of writers, you know, every book that Victoria Schwab comes out with is better than the last. And I love all of her books. But I think that you know, this would be a good one, a good one to start with. It's a really good story, really great plot, great writing, and great uh, characters, and a unique world um, that I haven't really read about before. Um, but that's all I have for you. I hope uh, this uh, helped you decide whether you wanted to give it a go or not. Um, or if you've already read it, please let me know what you thought. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.